Hello, can you believe the movie The Naked Civil Servant was released 48 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. So today, I think it would be fun if you sat on a chair with your family and rewatched the TV series with the entire cast of then and now. Let's see what these actors are now, who has made it to the top of Hollywood and who has passed away. Find the answer in our video. Liz Gephardt was born on April 12, 1945, in Liverpool, England. She played the character art student in the film when she was 30 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 1996, she passed away at 51, leaving us deeply saddened. You don't mean that. Well, it's infinitely luckier. It's always better to be a member of the majority. So, do we go to the zoo? Yes. Even. What's psychedelic, Maury? No, it's just a word, really, Dennis. For what word? Well, psychedelic. Oh. John Hurt was born on January 22, 1940, in Chesterfield, Derbyshire, England. He portrayed the character Quentin Crisp in the film when he was 35 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2017, he passed away at 77, leaving us deeply saddened. I have never refrained from any course of action on the ground that it was illegal or immoral. But I no longer ask strange men for money. Uh, no, I think, I think, I think if, if I can make a little, little metaphor. Yeah. Life is a bit like a mountain. Stanley Lieber was born on September 24th, 1934, in East Ham, London, England. He played the character Mr. Paul in the film when he was 41 in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2014, he passed away at 80, leaving us deeply saddened. You are exhibitionist, my friend. An exhibitionist has no friends. No friends at all. Certainly no friends. Walk round him slowly, looking at him closely. Then stand behind him. This always puts him in a state of anxiety. Patricia Hodge was born on September 29th, 1946, in Cleethorpes, Lancashire, England. She played the character ballet teacher in the film when she was 29 years old in 1975. She is now living happily 77. But your relationship? He wanted sex, I obeyed. He wanted to stop, I obeyed. But does he? With Gambon. Playing, I think Gambon was playing Robert or Jared. I can't remember which way around it was. No, it's the other way around. Harold played no. Robert. Shane Bryan was born on August 17, 1946, in London, England. He played the character Norma in the film when he was 29 in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2021, he passed away 74, leaving us deeply saddened. Dilly's dead tonight, isn't it? Being here in Iron Man, not a thing. Except two policemen disguised as human beings. He's a just a brilliant director, you know, and that I've done an awful lot of shock in my life, but uh, every tenth film is a really good film, you know, so you would... You... John Rhys Davies was born on May 5th, 1944, in Salisbury, Wiltshire, England. He played the character Bon Dor in the film when he was 31 years old in 1975. He's now living happily at 79. Something that troubles me. What is it? <laughs> the Ark. It is there, Tannis. You know, that witch in the forest, who if men set their eyes upon her, they are never the same Jen Chappell was born on August 11, 1949, in Brixton, UK. She played a neurotic girl in the film when she was 26 years old in 1975. Now she is living happily at 74. It's a beautiful friendship. That's what I want. Well, that's all right then. I don't care about sex. Yes, um, big finish for the wonderful um, time we've had as actors. And as far as I understand, fans really appreciated the big finish audios. Roger Lloyd Pack was born on February 8th, 1944, in Islington, London, UK. He played the character Liz in the film when he was 31 in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2014, he passed away at 69, leaving us deeply saddened. Yeah, of course I do. How are you going, Dave? 
Sorry I'm late, Del Boy. I had to pop round my sisters to arrange an alibi for next Thursday. Joyce Lee. Del. Del. The power of this program, isn't it? That 30 years after it, we started doing it, it's still as popular as it ever was. It, 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 indeed, it could be said to be. Lloyd Lambert was born on February 8, 1914, in Melbourne, Australia. He played the character Mr. Crisp in the film when he was 61 in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2008, he passed away at 94, leaving us deeply saddened. Your trouble is you look like a male whore. It was the first acknowledgement my father... Catherine Schofield was born on March 16, 1939, in Yorkshire, UK. She played the character Mrs. Spo in the film when she was 36 in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2002, she passed away at 63, leaving us deeply saddened. They're such cheats. How oh, cheats? I believe they speak English behind our backs when we're not listening. I don't believe... Frank Forsyth was born on December 19, 1905, in London, England. He played the character Family Doctor in the film when he was 70 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 1984, he passed away 78, leaving us deeply saddened. This was a good boot up the bottom. No! If you ask my advice, what he needs is a practical lesson in the facts of life. I John Malcolm was born on March 26, 1936, in Stirling, Scotland. He played the character Taxi Driver in the film when he was 39 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 2008, he passed away at 72, leaving us deeply saddened. 17 Morton Street, please. Could you please take me... Graham Armitage was born on April 24th, 1936, in Blackpool, Lancashire, England. He played the character Mr. Dunsmore in the film when he was 39 years old in 1975. We regret to inform you that in 1999, he passed away at 62, leaving us deeply saddened. Sometime in a drawing office as a tracer. Yes. Well, um, I gather that your, that your mother... Tell me who is your favorite character in the movie, The Naked Civil Servant, and share your thoughts about the deceased actors by leaving your comments below this video. Remember to support by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.